Hey, it's Bianca. Let's apartment hunt in Philly. Good morning from Philadelphia. It's 11 a.m. And again, the apartment hunt continues in the most <sighs> fashion. I'll fill you in a little bit after this, but we're walking to go see an apartment now. And I'm excited about the location. So hopefully it's as nice outside as it is inside. <laughs> hopefully it's as nice inside as it is outside. <laughs> All right, so this is the outside of the apartment and it's really cool and colonial and I feel comfortable showing the outside because I am unfortunately not taking it. But I think this place could have been so friggin' awesome if the landlord kind of didn't cheap out on a bunch of things. So granted, you see this beautiful marble fireplace right here. It is so nice. It's obviously a historic kind of place, but look at this landlord special going on over here. It's just not really the vibe. It's not exciting to me and that sucks because this could have been cool. It's a two bedroom one bath and I will bring you guys to the bathroom that is where I kind of stopped caring and stopped looking this is unfortunately a place where I think it could have been really special and you know sometimes it's just you know not not, not the case and I don't want to be a cynic here because you guys if you've missed it or if you haven't missed it how we've been looking at a lot of apartments we originally started looking at one bedrooms one bath and we have upgraded ourselves to two bedrooms one bath because uh space wise we could just see ourselves living in a two bedroom more so than a one bedroom look at this i'm sorry I, i'm sorry to cut you off i'm trying to be positive here but guys this is this was awful um and i feel bad because eventually i'm sure somebody will live here and i think it's really unfair that uh, landlords could get away with stuff like this because <laughs> it's such a pretty view and it's so nice and it's in such a prime area and a lovely location but sometimes you know the inside needs some love and this one needed a hell of a lot of it but i think it was so cool and special because this fireplace could you imagine the fashion videos could you imagine the ambiance with candles burning inside of it <gasps> so nice but definitely not the one for us <laughs> But just to leave us on a beautiful note, here is the view and the window panes that if somebody does live here, I think there is some magic to it, as well as, of course, the fireplaces. And this is the front view, which has a lovely fire escape, and I think that's quite romantic. So down the hallway we go, out onto the street, and we are going to another location. This vlog is totally going to be packed with a lot of apartments. So pretty please, I ask you to be nice and respectful and, of course, patient with my sporadicness of emotions. The one that we just saw was it wasn't awful but the bathroom was and that's like a big deal breaker for me but it was it was cool but we could like you guys heard my little spiel with the voiceover i'm sure so now we are in a different location and we're checking out something else that i'm actually quite excited i like this location a lot hopefully this one's a winner guys brace yourselves for the catfish of a lifetime i did not show the entryway stairs because they were absolutely crazy leading up into this apartment they looked like it would not look like this this is gorgeous i I, I couldn't have asked for a better, most perfectly matched aesthetic for what I like in a bathroom, in a home, and everything than this. This was incredible. I... I genuinely still kind of want this apartment. I'm really not gonna lie here, but there were just some flaws and we're going to get into it. Oh, damn. You are not kidding. I know. They just clean the rugs. Or just, so this is them. two bedroom. Yeah, mm -hmm. Oh, damn. This is huge. Oh my God. I didn't, I didn't know where this was gonna take us, but. This is big. This is a lot bigger. This is two bedroom. I, we didn't know what we were walking into because the entryway was like. two bedrooms were in like a shop. But that's, that's, that's how it is. So the two bedrooms are very unique. So this is one, this I'm assuming is the master, which is, this is huge. There's one closet, two closet, and there's just windows kind of everywhere, which is so nice. And they're new windows. They're not old. Yeah, and then this is a secondary bedroom. With a, oh wow, yeah. You're not kidding, Jordan. It's a light. A big closet it goes all the way down. This is like the most spacious, like private apartment that I've seen thus far. 
I want to say my only flaw of this apartment is that it's totally like shotgun style, but it's not the worst. It's cool. Like this kitchen is totally fine. It's a new oven. It's a new stove. There is a dishwasher. This pantry is awesome because you get to keep all your food in there. Um, you don't have to really, you don't have to like make anything else for it. You don't have to bring any other furniture or appliances in. I, I think I love these floors. These are like my favorite floors ever. The vintage floors. I I'm obsessed. I, I really wish it ran through the entirety of the home, but like, look at the, I just feel like this is very me. I just, ah, guys, I don't know, man. I don't know. This is, it's getting harder the more and more you look at things because the more you look at things, the more you find the stuff that you like. And then the more you look at things, the more you start to feel defeat. So it's a double-edged sword. This apartment, guys, I'm, I'm in one of those moods where I'm like, you know, you never, you never know what kind of feeling you get when you walk into certain apartments because you take what you can get with you know, how it all is now with how much crazy prices things are. But this, my only flaw is that the bedrooms are, you know, connected to each other. But if it's just Jordan and I, and that's more like an office space or an extra filming space or something, that's totally different. Very interesting. This is, this is pretty awesome. Like, windows, gorgeous view, just chill. Very nice block. It's very big. This is like super nice. Yeah, oh my god. Now that I'm here, guys, the bedroom is massive. Before you guys get your hopes up that this may be my apartment for filming and things, it is not. It just so happened we stumbled upon an open house that was like one block away, barely, right in front of the car where we parked, of this gorgeous Victorian home. It's for sale. It's not for rent. And actually it's $485,000. And I'm not going to lie to you. I do not think that's fucking bad for this house. I'm again, I'm from New York city. This is Philadelphia. So like uh, price wise, whatever, like that's probably expensive for Philadelphia itself, but you cannot even remotely think about getting this in Brooklyn, like where I'm from, like you, you doesn't you know this place. Oh, let me just draw your attention to what this place actually looks like guys. Come on, come on, look at this, look at this. Jordan was like defeated. <laughs> oh Jordan, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? This is gonna put all the things we're looking at to shame, but granted this is, this is, this is a dream. This is my dream. We, we just accidentally stumbled into my dream home because there's an open house because it's Sunday and this was literally a unit. Oh my God. Holy shit. What the fuck? This is fucking nice. Okay, quick rundown. How much is it to buy? I don't know, we need to ask this man. Look at the rest of it first. We just stumbled upon this because we were looking at a rental unit literally a block away, the one that you guys just saw that we really, really liked. And this, there's another floor. So we just stumbled in the open house and bro, this is unreal. I can't believe we just looked at the thing like next door compared to this is like insane. That open house was like hands down the most gorgeous open house I have willingly just walked into. I'll do this a decent amount where like you just see things and you browse and you whatever, but like that was, that was gorgeous. It was like Victorian styled home because it is an old home, like 1912, I think it was built. And just like between the clawfoot tub and the kitchen is just like the main observation deck. Just everything's so pretty. You're like in a little bird cage and that's how Victorian homes are supposed to feel. Like you're always on display and I love that. It's not for rent, obviously. It's, it's a house for sale. We're from New York City, so seeing a house that fucking gorgeous for that price is like, what the fuck? Like that's um, that's an amazing price for a house like that because houses by us go for like, it's literally a million dollar house but it's not a million dollar house. And I'm not exaggerating by any means. Like New York city housing is ridiculous. The tri-state area housing is ridiculous. I'm, I'm like in awe a little bit right now because I can't believe what a fair guesstimate. Granted, that's probably high for like where this is still, but with 
all due respect of like the most beautiful finishings and like the art that they put into like making this home homely awesome all right guys next location this was definitely just re-renovated i'm not gonna lie to you off the bat i think it was a little sterile for me it's really really nice but it it, it was sterile and i i kind of uh, i hate that like ah uh, i can't explain it i love the finishings i think they're very pretty i think it's nice that the teal doors like that's like one of my favorite colors ever but i thought it was really weird and cheap of this person to put a combo washer dryer when they just renovated a apartment i don't know just you can't dry clothes in a combo washer dryer it just does not work the brick accent wall is very nice i think it's cool that it's original uh, i just i wasn't in love with this i just can't imagine myself living here although everything seems to be the right fit so we're getting closer and closer oh i do hate the floors also not that i hate them i think they're cool i think the bathroom's really nice but like i just I don't know, man. I'm like a hardwood floor kind of girly, like a real hardwood floor. Now we're in another unit and it's really nice. It's like kind of brand new. This is the bathroom. I love the tile work. All the doors are this teal, which is like kind of my favorite color. My dresser is that color. You guys know that. Nice brick wall down in the hallway. Good closet, washer dryer. One of the bedrooms. I'm assuming that this bedroom is the secondary bedroom, which would be like an office or like a filming space or something. And let's go to the master. This is a bummer. This is the HF. It's not a closet. No. Uh, at least they tiled it. Okay, so now we're going from very modern to very not really modern and this is actually the first unit that we saw today that someone is actually living in so they obviously weren't here right now when I was filming and I kind of feel bad filming their apartment but I, I I need it for reference anyway to like look back and make my decisions this place was an absolute no um hate the kitchen the bathroom was god awful um but other than that I think this would have been perfect for like a roommate situation or like a college per like a, someone in college because it wasn't it didn't suck but this bathroom just I I genuinely, I don't even want to show you our agent. Uh, she, she's smart. She's smart cookie. She opened up the shower curtain and the, uh, the shower was, uh, falling apart. So th that was that. And, uh, we were on our merry way here. It was just an immediate now off the bat. Thank you. Next. I <laughs> saw another unit and we didn't like it. Just period. The bathroom's my deal breaker. It has to be a nice bathroom. Otherwise, like, I cannot. That's it. That's, like, literally my deal breaker. I will deal with, like, pretty much anything else. Oh, my pants are fucking wet from the rain. It sucks that we have to look at things in the rain because, like, you're running around to so many different stuff. But we're going to another one. I think that's, like, our last one for this sprig of ones. Starting room. I really appreciate you guys coming on these tours with me. So this is... Uh, maybe the third to last one that I'm going to show you. It was super nice. I will say the biggest con, one as a woman, is this is like completely on the first floor. No step up, no stoop, no nothing. It's very like scary for me to have windows that are like someone could break into or the front door, someone could just like kick it in. I just, it's very, it's not my energy that I'm like really searching for especially because I don't have a dog I don't have my German Shepherd anymore and uh, it just if I did maybe I would feel a little bit differently but just everything right there where someone could kind of like dangle their foot in I'm just I'm it, this is for like a man this is an apartment for a man who knows how to fight I don't know man I just that's just how I feel it's so nice though if this was on like a second floor perfect beautiful gorgeous like the floors are nice the, everything's nice everything's new it's pretty the shower gorge like everything was just redone right this little pedestal sink though very tight i don't know how i'd curl my hair here in this little corridor i just don't think that it would work but i'm happy to show you guys it anyway because <laughs> if i had to see it i don't know if you care to see it yeah this is so nice the appliances are nice it's actually the only fridge i've ever seen that we've toured that has the ice cream <laughs> A lot. Oh my god, that's funny. They have the exit sign. This was probably a resident. This was probably a something first. I guess we're gonna end up seeing possibly another one. Cross our fingers. And we were correct. There was a unit three houses down that just so happened to pop up on the agent's like app or something. And we were like, yeah, hell yeah, we'll see it. Uh, it's a little kooky. It's a little crazy. Um, it definitely is not livable. This is not a livable space. It is not livable and you will see why. Um, we actually couldn't find the bathroom for a really long time. That door, I thought it went outside. That's the bathroom. I didn't open it until we were about to leave the tour. And I was like, wait guys, there's no bathroom in here. Um, because we obviously, we, we're not living here this you just I don't know it's it, it, it should be a coffee shop or something it's so adorable though would this not be so cool 
I just, I was like, I heard kooky, I heard crazy layout, I heard whatever, and I was so down to see it, but there's water stains all over the floor, the back door was molded out, it was rotted, like, the whole thing needs to be completely, it's just, let's have a listen. You guys know that I love, like, the weird shit, like, I want an apartment that is, like, cool and, like, interesting, so I'm not mad at it. I don't hate the kitchen. I mean, it's whatever, but let's see, let's see the bedrooms. So, again, kitchen. I guess bedrooms, yeah, because that's full ginormous living room. Bedroom. This is big. Yeah, but the back door is Leak Leak City. Oh, there's a basement. Okay, not going in there. The door frames are kind of rotten now. Yeah, the black mold. They would definitely have water right here, so if it's a bad thing, it'll drip in. Oh my god. There's a lot of blood damage on there's a lot of wood damage in this apartment. Oh, that Walking sucks. Around, you kind of see it, feel it. Like, as like a a storefront, yeah, you could, I guess, deal with that. But that's, yeah. that sucks. The bathroom's nice, though. The tile's really nice. And it goes to the outside. Oh, my God, this is hysterical. Ooh, there's a urinal. No way. Oh, I remember no way. this. Okay, so we are leaving South Philly now and driving up. We actually, I thought that the last one that we were going to see was at 4, but it's actually at 2, and it's 1 o'clock now, and the person's already there, so we're like, okay, let's kill it now. We'll be there in 9 minutes, and then we'll go eat, and then we don't have to race to eat. I know y'all have really been enjoying the apartment tours, as have I, because documenting them only helps me better my decision, because I get to rewatch the videos and rewatch the footage and be like, wait, actually, maybe I did like that more than I thought. Or wait, actually, I kind of hate that when you're in the moment and it's very present it's hard to like totally wrap your head around stuff and you have like the real estate person talking to you and then you have like you're just so much going on in your head you can't really look until it's like all said and done so i appreciate you guys kind of being here on this journey that obviously has been taking a long time i'm not in a rush until like the perfect place is available okay guys this is gonna be the last apartment that we view and it's actually not an apartment it's a house so we're gonna end on a really awesome note of this lovely house in proper fish town nice back patio which i'm obsessed with this kitchen was like okay I, I genuinely did like this i think that was like a little broken had a basement we're gonna go down there right now as well as look at these pretty crystal handles i'm showing you guys like literally my whole full walkthrough so please please be patient and bear with me i think that this is great i kind of wish the washer dryer was in the basement i'm not gonna lie i know that's kind of a controversial thing to say but like i would so much rather it be like away and out of sight than in the kitchen so we have more counter space and stuff but we're gonna walk upstairs this is a two bedroom one bath i do hate that the bath is not on the first floor there is like two living rooms so this is one side of the living room and then the front living room that has a gorgeous fireplace i think this place was so awesome this is like so nice for a family i just think like for jordan and i it's just the way that we kind of navigate life i i think cool though because this whole side okay guys bear with me i know i'm talking a lot this whole side could be like a changing room slash closet like a walk-in closet because the closets are small uh that was kind of a drawing board for me and i love that there were shelves on top of the radiators so you don't burn yourself and you could actually put things on top of them kind of interesting layout because the house is totally split the bathroom was really really nice though i have no complaints about the bathroom i think it's really pretty the floor is nice everything about it in the same breath i just can't imagine myself like getting ready right here like i do my hair in the bathroom that's just like what i do and it's like tight and i just ah I, I, like me and jordan in the bathroom at the same time like i don't like did you see you catch the vibe that i'm putting down um and then this side is actually the bedroom which was humongous like this is big big bedroom but also the radiator kind of gets in the way of where you would probably put the bed closets are very small have to make a closet room it was just gonna be a no but i wanted to show you guys this anyway and ends on a really cool note because we did see a house and if that's an option. I think that's cool. It's like a full house, which I love. This is super nice. Now to fully end on a rather fanciful excursion, I did stay at a lovely apartment in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and it's making me question my entire move to Philly. Like, hey, why don't I just move to Lancaster? The houses are so old and so awesome, and it was so decorated, so freaking cool. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this apartment tour. Unfortunately, I don't think any of these were absolute winners, but I love sharing this stuff with you, and I hope that you guys are enjoying it as well. So please make sure that you're subscribed if you're new here, and I really appreciate all your helpful comments keep your like mean nasty cynical comments to yourself unless you are agreeing with me i'm kidding i will see you guys in my next video bye